Meet Christine Walker. She's from New York City. She's a self-proclaimed obsessive baker who wants to revolutionize the way we eat cookies. Our cafeteria served these huge chocolate chip cookies, and the football players, they used to buy them every day at lunch, and they had a very, very unique way of eating them. They would put them on the tray, pour milk all over the cookie, and then just devour them. I was horrified by that. It was disgusting. They were like a bunch of barbarians eating this. You know, cookies weren't always a delicious treat. Hundreds of years ago, they were called biscuits, and they were as hard as rocks. If somebody bit directly into one of those chunks, they'd most likely end up with broken teeth. So people would dunk them in milk or water to moisten them up so they'd actually be edible. How cool would it be to have a bowl made out of cookie? You fill the bowl up with milk, you can dunk your cookies in the cookie bowl, and then eat the cookie afterwards. We could call it the cookie bowl, it'd be so awesome. So based on what our team develops here for Christine's idea, it's my job to gain corporate interest in the product. At this point, the team hasn't provided me with enough information to go and make that happen. So Mr. D suggested we bring Dan in for a testing session and let him feel the same thing Christine felt in that cafeteria with that messy food and that giant pile of shit. I brought some cookies. I brought some milk. Sound like a great time, Dan? Let's get this over with already. Let me uh, make sure that here oh, you Oh, no, see how to, nice that is. I don't want you, okay, here we go. We're gonna add a little milk with our cookies. Do some for clay. Dig in, guys. Okay. Dig racing. in. No, that's good stuff. Do you have enough milk? Let me get you with a little more milk. Don't you wish you had a bowl to put this in? Please. What I would only do for a bowl right now. See? See, he's learning. He's getting the concept. Do we understand the problem now? And why there's such a need for it in the marketplace? I think so. Okay, good. Our point has been made. You gonna finish that? Some more milk? Yeah, sure. Okay, there you I'll go. I'll take some more. Oh, I think we got this on the wrong person. <laughs> Here, see if that helps. You know. That's not that. <laughs> Product ready for market? Might need a little work. We will work on it, and we'll work together on it. The question that I have is, somebody have more cookies? You know what? Let's get back to work. So that was completely disgusting. You know, I can't imagine being in that situation, especially in high school. That would have been gross. Dan just doesn't seem to be getting the cookie bowl concept. So Jason and his team are going to come up with a design that changes his mind. Jason's team designed a silicon dessert bowl that can cook at any temperature with any recipe. Users can bake cookies, cakes, breads, brownies, cereal treats, muffins, nearly anything, and they bake up evenly every time. We called it the cookie bowl. I was really surprised with what the team came up with. We showed it to XHP and in theory they loved it, but they didn't like the name. They wanted to see a full rebrand of the product. Even though we weren't quite there yet, we came back, we tweaked the packaging, a little more attractive, we gave it a new name, Brownie Bowl. Double consonant, rolls off the tongue really well, and it's great for marketing. So I think we're almost there. At first I was a little nervous because it wasn't originally what I had thought of, but at this point I really don't care what it's called, just as long as it's out and people can enjoy it. The Brownie Bowl was picked up by Extraordinary Home Products, and now they're on their way to the stores. We invited Christine to Pittsburgh for a big surprise. Professional bakers are going to be using her Brownie Bowl. There we go. Oh my goodness, what is all this? These are some of the goodies that we had made for you. Oh my gosh. Christine, we're so excited. I mean, there's like, there's a million and one things people are doing with this right now. I can't even believe this. How many things are there here? Oh my gosh, this is the best one, cookie. Doesn't that look good? Look, you can even make breakfast with it. It's this great, is amazing. It? Yeah. If you like that, I have something else for you too. It's a big fat check. That's your first royalty <laughs> check. <laughs> Uh -uh. Yeah, it is. Uh -uh. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Stop it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Christine did it, and we're just pumped for her right now. I never in a million years thought that this product would be in a professional bakery, ever. It can be tailored to your exact tastes, however you want to have your brownie bowl, pudding, Rice Krispies, whatever you want, you can have, and it's unbelievable. All of this started with an idea in high school, and now our product's sitting here in QVC, Bed Bath Beyond, and other major stores. I couldn't be happier for her. I dared to invent, you should dare to invent too. Don't be scared, take a risk. You never know what's gonna happen.